More rumors have circulated about the PlayStation 4.5 4K, or now as it's being called, the PlayStation Neo. Mm -hmm. What do we know, and why? And why? Newsboy Andrew, go. Hey. Uh, so Giant Bomb obtained some documents uh, for developers that are working with this thing. Uh, the codename for it is Neo, and it's really interesting in that Sony is very careful to not split the player base. So basically, according to these documents, Sony really wants people to, every game will have a, a Neo mode, which in other words, a 4K mode, or a base mode where it can run on a normal <laughs> PS4. The idea being that if you have a PS4, you buy games off a shelf the same way you would otherwise. There's still only one game available in the PSN store. Everything's the same, but depending on which system you have, you can get more out of it, basically. Sure. So, so the, demand like for, the demand for backwards compatibility is so great, they built the second <laughs> system so the PlayStation 4 can be backwards compatible with itself. Yeah. I mean, I like it. Marty and I were talking about this earlier. Uh, our rough guess would be that you buy a game, it's just one disc in the store. If you buy whatever, The Last of Us 2, yeah, it's going to be, be on There's not going to be two SKUs. There's not yep. going to be two prices. Right. But maybe when you put it in on the Neo, you can download like a 4K texture pack, or there's some kind of uh, free component from the mm -hmm. store that upgrades yeah. it to the new mode. And what or it scales to your hardware, which yeah. if you've yeah. ever played a PC game, you mm -hmm. just literally go into the options menu Welcome and go to settings. Settings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. And um, maybe it's grayed out if you can't run yeah, it. Yeah, and mean. they very much said that, well, according to these, again, documents, rumored mm -hmm. reports, um, that there's not going to be exclusive features. So right. it's not going to be like, oh, The Last of Us 2 uh, on the PS Neo. You could take has, off your shirt. You could take off your shirt. No, yeah. that's Sure, it's staying on both. Yeah, both. yeah. or Sorry. it's just Unless awesome. It's, both yeah, you can. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that you can take your shirt off in uh, the last yeah. of us too. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> also, uh, the price wasn't uh, in this document, but they said everything they've heard has been three ninety nine, which is really interesting. So that leads there's a, there's a couple things to talk about, and mm -hmm. one of them is I feel like the general response has been anger. Yeah, a majority of it yes. has been anger. Uh, because a lot of people uh, feel like this is uh, anti early adopters or anti the 40 million people who have supported and made the PS4 one yeah. of the fastest selling consoles of all time. Yes, yep. yeah, absolutely. And I think it's, I mean, a big part of that is because we're reading these stories and writing these stories and having these conversations in places where people probably already own a PS4, mm -hmm. right? This isn't really for the. Uh, like swing for the fences, New York Times crowd at E3 when they're just like they reach out w with all of the world sort of being like, like we have our base, we get that, we know who we're, we're preaching to the choir over here. But to get like you know like we've talked about them on the show before, like the sort of tech dads and stuff like that, people who are sort of kind of on the outside of like hardcore gaming, but they want the coolest the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm. Anyone reading the story, anyone listening to the show, I'm, I'm guessing a large majority of people listening to the show own a, a PlayStation console already, mm -hmm. most likely a PS4. Uh, you're probably reading this and going like, this sucks. I think this is like, it's hard to understand that this might not necessarily be, be for you. Okay, so looping, looping back to that, of those people, how many of them have 4K TVs? I don't have a 4K Very TV. Few. Do you guys yeah. have? None of you guys I think have, like no, three people on our side of the office have 4K TVs. Well, I think it's yeah. like a cart leading the horse kind of thing. And all you three know? of them are micro. I mean, it's it's future proofing. You know, yeah. like yeah. it's it's understanding that now if you go to Best Buy and you're like, I'd like to buy a nice brand new TV, that TV is probably going to be 4K. Well, I'll ask, yeah. I'll ask. Let's. I'll reverse the question. When when was the last time you guys bought a TV? When I moved to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. I've yep. had it. It was seven years, eight years. Like so. Yeah, we're all due. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's for me. What I like about it is that it's theoretically, if all the PS4 games just work, if, if they're not splitting the player base, it's extending the generation, meaning, yeah, if you want to be in the bleeding edge, it does suck. If, you, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to have to fork out another $400 like, to, to stay on the bleeding edge, yeah, that's hard. But at the same time, like, <laughs> if four years from now, we're not getting a PS5 because the Neo is out and it's running better games, and my old PS4 games still work, maybe that's a good thing. I think you're nuts if you think this is this is delaying anything about a PS5. I don't think this is going to change anything about when this generation ends. Sure. I so, think this is just sort of a shift or a small evolution halfway through. And I, I agree with you. Like I'm, I'm not mad at this. I don't even know if I'm going to get one. If I don't have 4K yep. TV, do I really care about this? Like maybe I'll eventually get one. I'm, I'm totally fine with it until the moment a game comes out that is optimized for the. PlayStation Neo yep. and not my PS4, and, and when I am yes. penalized, because yeah. I'm totally yeah. fine if a game runs just like Uncharted is probably going to run, or just like Bloodborne runs, but looks a little bit better on the Neo. I'm totally fine. You guys, still playing you guys made the joke yeah. about the PS4.5 PS4 exclusive features, right? And how there won't be any yeah. taking off the shirt and stuff like that. They say there won't be any, like sure, like taking off mm -hmm. your shirt, but there will be. 
Like there will just be inherently differences in those games. It's also like this is a weird little anecdote, but when I used to work for GameSpy, which is like the it was like a sort of like a sister company to IGN mm -hmm. or like a little baby IGN, mostly focused on PC gaming. It's like how I got in the industry. We would run we had console channels on GameSpy and we would get um screenshots sent over from developers all the time that were basically their games running in the highest definition possible on PC. And they'd be like, here's our Xbox 360 screenshots. And we'd send them back and be like, not true. Yeah, yeah. That's physically impossible. That's not how that yeah. works. And they'd be like, no, we swear. And we're like, sorry, we're not running your screenshots on our site. You're getting into an area where a few years from now, you get a, a, a trailer or a batch of, of screens on a game and you're like, oh, come into PS4, cool. Got it. Yeah. But what yeah. are you looking at? I mean, look, look at look at the, the trickle down from like the Watch Dogs reveal to mm. Watch Dogs on PS4 in action to what Watch Dogs look like on, on last gen. Or yeah. running on high end PCs yeah. too. Like even on the highest end PC, we're, we're already dealing with bull shots mm -hmm. and bull I mean, videos. And that's where <laughs> the thing that confuses me, or not confuses me, but like the anger is surprising to me, I guess, because I don't know, like I like I'm with you. I don't know that I will necessarily buy this. Uh but the weird thing for me is like uh, like so Jose just reviewed Hyrule Warriors Legends on 3DS, yeah. and it runs on a new 3DS or or a regular 3DS. On new 3DS, it runs pretty well. On a regular 3DS, it like chugs and it's yeah. awful. And like well, you look at like Black Ops 3 on 360 PS3 versus PS4, where there's like nothing there and they replaced yeah. all the tech stuff with watching. Yeah, you actually machines. can't run like, that Hyrule Warriors game in 3D on the 3D on the right. other 3DS. Yeah. Which and is I guess like, what? like that's what I don't like. I hope we don't get to that point where they're like, oh, it technically still runs, but it's yeah. like awful. Yeah. yeah, like that's that's where if it gets to that point, then I agree with outrage and it's like I get it because then you're forced into buying the new one. So the but largest argument I hear against there. this thing, and again, I'm going to side with Marty in that I'm kind of middle of the road on it. I'm mm -hmm. sort of apathetic. Like if it gets to a point, like I'm, I'm a bad, I'm a bad measures of 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 success for something like this because I look, I like I buy every console at launch. Yeah, like, yeah. I buy everything mm -hmm. at launch. I get excited for things. Like mm -hmm. uh, I, I love, I love all that hubaloo and all that garbage that comes around. Hubaloo, like, hubaloo, 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 okay. it's, like it's, it's a Hebrew bread. <laughs> Hummus yeah. bubblegum platter. So I'm. I'm I'm down to trade in my, my PS4. Yeah. Like, I will totally... And that's one thing that I think everyone's leaving out here is that this will also... Like, this will broaden the market because if you look at um, if you look at cameras or Apple products, there is very much that early adopter market, which they acknowledge. They know that's a thing, and people will always be mm -hmm. trading in their still technically new thing for the newest thing. Right. Yeah. And then that new thing is suddenly refurbished, and it's available for... Well, you know, so, a, so what I'm camp, saying you know? is that the, the apprehension towards that is stemming 100% from the fact that historically, this has never been a thing we've had to do in console gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned products where we're like used to that by now, right? Like you get a new phone every two years, and it's no big yeah. deal. Your PC, you're constantly upgrading if you actually care about that kind of stuff. But consoles are like, hey, man, when I bought a console, you told me there's going to be a seven-year life yeah. cycle or a 10-year life and cycle. And that's the advantage which over is PC. specifically something that, that Sony has been touting for the longest time like mm -hmm. their marketing campaign behind the ps2 and the ps3 was like these are the ten decade long the decade so yeah, long yeah. consoles so to kind of pull that rug out from under people i kind of understand why they're upset it's also a weird thing where like 37 million ps4s have been sold in whatever yeah. two and a half years like pretty much no matter what i would be stunned if ever P ps neo hits that right yeah. like i think no matter what there will always be more core ps4s out there than neo so it's like even best case scenario, like you're gonna have more people with the older hardware than the newer hardware. So my thing is like, what is this? If this was coming from okay, so like Nintendo's launching a new console this year, right? Why are they doing it? Because the Wii U failed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would Sony launch a new I console cannot when it's fathom why they're doing it? Like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me outside of being like we are strategically going for the pinnacle of like of tech people, gamers who want the best looking I mean, also like You VR. don't sell 40 I, I million consoles and then go like, I, oh, sh I, I, we're, honestly, we're hurting. I think VR is the big push for it because theoretically, I mean, we don't know, obviously, but like the, the processor box that you're essentially paying for when you buy a PSVR, I guess the long-term plan would be if everyone's buying PS Neos from this point forward and if they're that much more powerful, mm -hmm. maybe down the road they can sell a PSVR for like 150 bucks where you're literally just buying the headset and the console itself is capable yeah. of running VR games. It just games. feels like you're splitting you're splitting the conversation into Sony pieces by being like, here's here's this game. Here's this game on PS4. Here's this game on PS4 VR. Yeah. Here's this game on PS4.5 VR. Also, like, like when they show 
it's going to be weird if they show God of War 4 at E3. Yeah. Is it going to be running on the Neo? Is it going to be That's running? Is it going to look like yeah. what it's yeah. going to look like? Like, at what home? are we looking at? Like, yeah. when, if you see that and they're like available for pre order today and you pre order it, like, what are you getting at that point? Also, are they like getting rid of, we were talking about this earlier, are they getting rid of that excitement of what a game looks like at the start of a generation compared to what that developer could do at the end? Like, Uncharted 1 compared to The Last of Us? Yeah. Or like what like a launch PS2 game like Kessen or The Bouncer looked like compared to like Kingdom Hearts 2 or Okami <laughs> or they're, God of War 2? They're strengths that are born from limitation. Yeah. They're yes. people who, their their art is good because of the restrictions that were around it and they have to think creatively as opposed to like being able to make whatever. I mean, I don't know. Like I think it's a lot of the sky is falling. I hate Sony. They screwed me over yeah. thinking right now. We don't know what this is. Like honestly, like no. I don't think, I think Sony, this generation especially, has not made a misstep yet. I think as of right now, they're doing really well and they're being smart about what they're doing and they're listening to fans. So I would what hope. About, what about, was Shuhei hit that deer with his car? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> It's a it's horrible tragic. accident. No, so there was this uh, there was this NeoGAF thread the other day about um, Nintendo DS games running in HD through an emulator, and they're fascinating because once you remove all the hardware limitations of the DS, which was just like Vaseline smeared, incredibly low res, you started seeing that you're like, oh my god, this game had like 3D polygon character design and not sprites, and you thought they were all sprites because you're playing them on a on a two and a half inch screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't really think there's anything at play with the PS4 where you're like you're gonna lift the veil and all of a sudden it's gonna be like oh there was a beautiful game under there the whole no, time. It's gonna be like more grass, yeah, like less it, jagged edges. Yeah, it's like more we're, we're two and a half years into <laughs> the generation the and there's already gorgeous. Like I'm not playing Bloodborne or Ratchet and Clank or seeing Uncharted and being like man I wish this looked better. It's like no that looks totally fine with me. Dream yeah, bigger. I think, I think I Bloodborne guess. should have more grass. I think there's not enough grass yeah, in that game. That's no, gonna be real I'm sad. Just, dead grass. I can't wait to see how they message this. If this is gonna be announced at E3, it's also so like, who is going to buy a console between E3 and November if they announce this thing well, in June? Also, like we're looking, yeah. at, we're looking at this being called PlayStation 4K, PlayStation 4.5, PlayStation Neo. What if it's just PlayStation 4 Slim? Like, what if they just kind of like they put and then all this just stuff, phase out what we have now? It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's got all this stuff. Like, if they are sticking to their word and being like, okay, the bells and whistles, the 4K stuff is future proofing. It is bridging a gap between like another hardware generation, which is just displays mm -hmm. and VR. Yeah. Uh, and maybe it's, it's just yeah. called the PlayStation 4. I mean, look at what the iPad did. Exactly. One yes, day they the were just iPad. like, this is the iPad. Yep. And then we're, we're quietly phasing out all the old models. And it's yeah. even, I mean, that happens now. Like, I think we, like, throughout a, the life cycle of a generation, you slowly see bigger hard drives and, and everything else. Or then you even see, like, um, the... Uh, uh, Xbox 360 had like yeah. different chipsets like during all the Red Ring stuff like they very they didn't make a big public campaign after it no. out of it but or they'll uh, remove the ports. hardcore users like looked for like oh you want to buy one that says Jesper yep. on the back because that one went Red yeah. Ring because it's they'll, a better they'll add a remove ports on a console without even make a big stink yeah. yeah I mean there were like there were three PlayStation 1s you yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah it was like oh I want to use a mod chip or whatever and play yep. burn yeah. games I, I will just be I will be fascinated to There's see that, we, that weird Wii that doesn't play di uh, GameCube games oh the Canadian like, one what? yeah <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. the yeah, I, I'm just I'm super curious to see what this is and how they message it because everything they they're messaging so far for the past three years has been so on point. It's I been know. so good, and they haven't missed a single punch yeah, yet. Well, they and also so, haven't messaged this no, yet. Totally, we're, we're yeah. all completely reacting to you various know, reports rumors, that so. sometimes conflict each other and sometimes. So yeah. I feel like this is something that whether whether it's happening soon or whether it's even happening at all, which it really feels like it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. Um, this has to be messaged at E3 in some way, definitely, and they have to handle it incredibly carefully because. Because you're, you, that's a room full of people who already own a PS4, who, if, are, who are clapping, waiting for the next big. Thing. What if you bring out a celebrity to message it, like Fergie, like TV or Sean Hoop White, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, or Ravi Drums? Ravi Drums. Ah, E3, yeah. the best celebrities in the world are back. Wow.